Well, today here, the rust farm, Freddy's playing in the snow. Should we see how to operate a tow truck? You like, oh, you love the tow truck. You wanna go in the tow, oh. Just run into the yard. Come on, buddy. Let's fire this thing up. It's like almost above zero, I think. But this, she's a PTO winch. Had to buy J-hooks, couldn't find them, the people I bought it from. But they had the mint tow gear sitting in the shop for the last 30 years. That was the score. Anyways, I'm gonna pick up my 60. Let's see how this thing fires out. Or not for a minute or two. Gen poles for it. I'd have a couple of those. Just old scrap well hydrants that I can take home from work. Just use the steel and made gin poles out of them. things like power steering you don't need them it just complicates things yeah but, uh, it's pretty muddy right here Oh, you ran out of fuel. 
sure seems like it. I don't remember the last time I put gas in it. Steel gas for my revival. Oh, there's a bit in there. Oh. And this one. I'm gonna say it's a middle one. I'm gonna think that's a good feel. Oh, there's Freddy. There's Freddy. You looking for Paul? No, he's not home yet. How are you getting in the tow truck? It's got a bucket bucket seats in there now, buddy. Here, I'll have to flip the armrest up for you. There you go. Make a mess of the seats. I guess they're Paul's anyways. Oh, see? You don't need the bench, do you, buddy? Everything's just junk nowadays. See what we got? Perfect. About a week. Oh, the snow melted off the deck finally. I can find some stuff. Oh, my broken priority. Great. Sure sounds empty. Definitely just ran out of the gas. I think I got another gear. Snort of the good stuff. Okay, I know Paul's got some hide there somewhere. <laughs> Look at that. First thing. Get in. Get a little, little huff. Soak the air filter a little bit. Maybe we'll pull something through. You love the tow truck, buddy.
didn't turn the heat on, I turned the wipers on. Oh, they even returned perfectly. Wow. Never used them before, I was scared to. I got a brand new windshield. Old wipers. The only thing I put in that truck is the windshield. Because it was, uh, it was really bad. These are back for you know. Thanks, Paul. Needed that. Okay. To a control arm pocket make sure you're not pulling on a shock or something so you don't want these to be able to come inwards because when you turn the outside one is going to want to slide in then it'll tip all the weight so you want it not to be able to slide inward Here, but it sucks for a, like two months. Oh. Let's get back that unit up underneath. Let's see what I can get for an angle here. Like, um, 
this thing was built for safety and things were a factor and uh obviously you know pto winch is fun to operate i love it but yeah normally when you uh there should be hooks here on each side and then your chains hook like that and then there's safety things and i just chuck them like that and then, then there's supposed to be a safety chain from the boom to here to the vehicle or whatever people say or things um yeah i don't uh, i don't have any of that so tower roll i'll add that stuff someday I literally haven't even put air in a tire on this truck yet. Nothing. Like, 32 years of sat in the bush. It's it's rusty, like, the worst thing you can do for a vehicle is put cab lights on it. And a big rotary light. The giant crater was from me. I smashed the gin poles down on it one day. I'll go, maybe I'll even go throw them up and show them operate as well. But. Yeah, there's a entirely a floor in it. Oh, there's kind of a cap. There's a cap in there. That's decent. Anyways, we'll uh, hook this up. That's how it rides. Normally I like to <coughs> get it. It's riding okay on the straps, but that's good. There's clearance there. But you want it to be sitting on these straps sitting on the bumper. I like to get it at least a third of the way onto them. And then uh, it rides on the straps, not on the bar. You don't want the bar up riding in here. It binds when you turn them too. But yeah, let's see, there's J hooks. And then when you turn, yeah, those don't want to slide in. You tend to do that. But yeah, now I'm going to go under and throw my gyro shaft back on since this truck runs now. Maybe if I can find some tires. And go and uh, do this capture the flag. The revival battle. Paul. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to move yet. <laughs> he doesn't realize how locked up this wheel was. <laughs> uh, I drug that around with the tow truck. <laughs> and it would not break free. Drug it right off the trailer. Yeah, nothing. So we'll see. See how it goes. Anyways. That's how to run an old school tow truck, I guess. I guess the PTO is, well, it's going to be a two-way on it. Up and down. And the clutch, of course. That's really all there is to it. And yeah, I built these gin poles just out of a bunch of scraps. Because this, uh, this was the parts truck that came with the uh, an actual gin pole deck, also with another PTO. So I robbed the motor and stuff out of it for that truck. And I'm robbing the deck and stuff. Doing, um, it'll be, yeah, I'm using all the parts. It'll be put to use. But this was the truck that was 
Well, if you want the green one, you got to take the parts truck with it. And this was the parts truck. <laughs> oh, best, best $300 ever. It's been so handy. I can't, I don't know how many times I used it. Oh, the cab's not that rusty. The door still shuts perfect. What, you want back in? You can climb in this yourself. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, your bucket seat's perfect for it. Yeah. I don't know why. He doesn't like the big block truck. He does not like that one. I sure like it. I don't know what his problem is. But. Beautiful old trucks. Man. This is the next one going under the knife. Thought I bought like the most mint cab I'd ever seen. Mm. Anything down here is a surface track. Very solid. No holes in the normal spots. I poked a little bit there. That was crispy. Normally they rot here. That's solid, but here is rotten. Weird. But I thought no big deal. It's got the best floors, like super solid. The more I drove it, the more of this started happening. Started seeing daylight coming through. I've had some trucks rot there before, but normally the rest of the truck's toast or it has cab lights or something on it. But... Nope. For some reason, that one just wanted to rot there. Most mint truck everywhere else. So, I guess I could fix that. And then I can bodywork this box. It's just ready for bond all this thing. Tons of it. Oh, the other side's works real good. The other side's real good. Oh, I pounded the motor already too. That's right. That's right. I already took. Oh yeah, I already took it off. I have a picture before. Right here, they never even pounded the den out. They just filled it with Bondo. It was like almost two inches thick. Right here. But yeah, so this box is horrible. And I'd have to repaint the whole truck. So I don't even want to do that. Why do that? When you have... Just uh, the perfect body to put on it. As soon as I did it that, it's so easy with that gin pole truck. I'm gonna go do that. I'll show you, there's just an issue here. God, this is just, I can't even believe that's my truck. Just about the coolest truck ever. Oh, Freddy's in the tow truck. That's rude. Charlie out. Pretty girl, you want out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, your puppy should be home soon. Yeah, yeah, he should be home right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You excited for the revival battle too? You excited for the revival battle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did leave my snowblower here. 
Oh, it's kind of melted out of there. That's where the 60 came from. Look, you can see the hood now. Kind of orange this truck is. I thought it was more red. Oh, wow. It'll still match. My camper will still look okay on it. And I'm just going to put this body on. Power wagon. I don't know. This seems to be a patina truck because I don't know how to do any body work. Body work sucks. So boring. Yeah. I'd rather just. I'd rather have them rough, anyways. Patina trucks are awesome. Especially when you actually use them. I'm not a. Go to a car show or anything. Can't afford big dollar paint jobs. I like stuff you can use. Like my dually even. That's kind of shiny looking. That's a farm truck. That thing is uh hauled more gooseneck than uh, than anything. Hardly been driven empty, actually. Always got a big tank uh, 1202 and new snack hitch. Loves to tow this thing. Yeah. Anyways, I guess that's. How to run an old rack of a tow truck. The old sling. Oh yeah, Freddie, you want to hang out with Charlie? You want to see Charlie? Get him. Yeah, yeah you guys ready for a revival battle? That truck runs as good as it did the other day. Let's play sabotaged it. Yeah. Anyways, I'll do another video yanking that other truck out of the snowbank. Because this one I am not moving. It's got to move under its own power next. So I just wanted to lift it, hook it up. Anyways, subscribe. Steve here at the rest farm. I uh, need a couple tires. So, I'll show how the gin poles work. The only half ton tires in the yard are kind of tough to get a jack on there right now. So. My tow gear is not quite long enough. Plus, there's no bumper or nothing. Somebody put this heavy deck on it with all this junk in the back. Blowing up 318. That's kind of cool, actually. Instead of my 70 power wagon. I bought it. The guy said, yeah, the motor knocks. Hasn't run in 20 years. It's been parked because of the motor knock. So, of course, when I brought it home, it was minus 30 in. Had to try to get it going, right? Ran for like 30 seconds. It's like, oh, I don't hear no knock. It's a perfect engine. What's the guy talking about? And then it exploded. Hence, I'll throw the video in when it blew up, I guess. But that was a fun day. And then, uh, so I swapped the Roadrunner engine in it. Anyways. Set this down and flip up the tow gear and such. See what this shot's like. Well, this is how you set up homemade gin 
holes that I built out of some scrap.
that's how my gen poles work set up. I think they're 11 feet when I made them. You can always be sure not to set them up near power lines and such things, of course. Um, safety first, always. And uh, yeah, let's go see. Let's snag this out of there. Get my uh, one good winter grip on there. That'll do me just fine. I think I need one tire. Yeah. Check out the moss on this truck. <laughs> Haven't even washed it. All I did was put a windshield in it. Yeah, I've just been using it, working it for two years now beating on it. Just loves it. Just a great truck.
seized. I worked at it. You got it working. Handiest truck I've ever owned. Cost me three hundred dollars. Well, probably. I uh, had to buy some cable. Put LED boat lights on the headache rack and a windshield. Oh, the windshield's a couple hundred bucks. So. Beauty. Courtesy. Ultimate Glass, New Million, Alberta. Yeah. Cheap as best service around. People travel from afar. Go to him. Anyways, man, I love this truck. Well, let's we'll see if we can pull a 71 out. Do a body swap. Swap that other power wagon. Well, since I got the gin pulls up, I was move my snowplow.
such a handy unit. 